Hello friends, welcome to another interesting C++ interview question. And this is not only interesting question, this is very important question also. You can impress any interviewer by answering this question. So let's look at the question. How delete know how many objects to delete? And this is for deleting an array. So basically there are two techniques for that. First is over allocation. So if you think what you really need to remember, you need to remember this n only. Okay. What is this n when you are going to destruct that? So you will be calling destructor on that pointer that many times and you will iterate in a loop. So this is the loop and you are calling the destructor that many times this n time. So it's just only how to store this n and where to store that. So first is over allocation. So this code is about over allocation. I'll write another code for associative array. And uh, this is going to be a little big video. So if you want to grab your coffee or something, you can just go ahead and get that. So we'll start now. So now the question is how you will store this n. You will be over allocating how much whatever the word size is. And the word size is generally 4 byte for 32 bit machine and 8 byte for 64 bit machine. So this is over allocation technique. You will be over allocating 4 byte to store that n here. So how it is doing that we'll see. So whenever you will write this code compiler will replace this one line with these many lines. So we'll understand these line li line by line. Okay. So what I told we want n times base. So this is what it is n times size of base. So this will return 4 and this is 10. So 10 into 4 40 plus word size and my machine is of size 32 bit. So it will be giving 4 bytes and this is nothing but just a function call. Okay. And you are passing this argument. How much memory do you want? So if you are new, you don't understand this, then just consider this as a malloc and you are giving the size and you are typecasting it into character pointer. That's it. So how much you got by this line? I'll just write so that it will be very simple to understand this from 0 to 43. Okay. You got this much. Okay. From 0 to 43 because you over allocated this much word size and now you're going to place this n on this. So we'll see that that is little bit tricky. You need to keep your eyes open. So what we are doing here is this temp is currently pointing to zeroth location. Now we want this temp to point to fourth location by incrementing it by four. And this temp is of character type. So it will get incremented by four characters. I mean the four bytes. Okay. So at this particular location, what address you will be holding? You will be holding something like this. Uh, or we can say this P will be holding this address. P is going to hold fourth address. It's like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 43 here. So this P is going to hold from here to here. Actually, it is going to hold this one only. I mean, 4 only. So this P is holding this address and this temp is holding this address. So actually, this is the base address for temp and this is the base address for P. If you notice what we have done, we have typecasted from 4 to 43, which is nothing but our original array into base pointer. And that's what we wanted. We don't want character pointer. We want base pointer. Okay. Because we are converting into base. So we want base pointer. So we have converted from 4 to 43, which is nothing but 40 bytes that we want into base pointer. So this P is nothing but our original array. Okay. And this 0 to 3 is nothing but this word size. So here we are going to place our n, this n here. Okay. So let's see how we will do that. That is also a little tricky. So this temp is nothing but this location, 0th location. Okay. Of that full array. So now you will typecast that temp into size t. And this size t is nothing but uh, generally it is integer size. So and if it is 30, I mean, if it is a 32 bit system, it will be 4. If it is 64 bit, it is 8. So mine is 32. So it will be 4. So you are converting temp into integer and you are placing that n to that. Okay. So we have stored our n here. So this n will go to this place 0 to 3. 
so we have done our job we did copy and here and now we are ready to use our p from 4 to 43 which is of 40 bytes now the only thing is left is we need to call constructor that many times because the job of new is not just only creating memory its job is to call the constructor also okay so we'll see how it is calling the constructor in that case so we know n times we need to call so we are looping through and we are calling this new and we are passing the memory location and this is what object we want to construct and this technique is called placement new if you don't know this just go to my previous video you will understand that what placement new is and the heading of that video is what is placement new in C++ so that you will get it very easily okay so I'll just roughly explain it is nothing but you are telling I want to construct this object on this particular location what is the general thing we do we write like this okay new and base and this is calling the kernel internally and telling I want four bytes of memory and I want to construct this object on that memory so kernel is involved in that so we don't want kernel to be involved because we have already got the memory here now we want to construct the object on that memory so we'll pass like that and if you see this p is of base type and if you will increment by one then it will jump four four bytes so this is also done you have call the constructor on all the location of this array so from 0 to 9 it is holding 10 objects so this was how you construct this array now we'll come to see how this delete work so whenever you write this delete array syntax compiler replaces that with this one these many lines will replaced okay so let's see how this will work you might have already noticed that we are getting n from that array okay by minus this word size so why initially we did these much things just because we wanted to store this n somewhere in the beginning of that array okay now we have to grab that n so that we can call the destructor that many times on this array so this is where this grabbing thing is working here so you are just getting that p typecasting into character pointer so whenever you will decrement it it will decrement by byte by byte so this word size i told it is four so it will get decremented by four bytes so this p was pointing here if you see now you are telling to point this to zero location so now you have n in your hand okay this n is nothing but 10 here okay now you will just look through 10 times and you will call destructor in reverse order and you are calling this destructor explicitly if you remember i told you that you are using placement new here so whenever you are doing this placement new you have to call destructor explicitly okay it's your responsibility to free that memory so this will call destructor on last element of this array and then the second last and the third last and it will go up to first location and lastly we have to destruct the whole array this array okay so we are deleting that whole array by just doing this bp minus word size so so far we have seen the or allocation now we'll see how this associative array works so thanks for your patience guys now we'll see this associative array technique to store that n here this whole thing is just to store this n only okay just keep this in your mind because the question is how this delete know how many objects to delete and this is the size of array so you just remember n only okay so let's look at the associative array technique now you must be familiar what we are doing so basically we are storing this n somewhere so before we were doing over allocation so that word size was entered in the picture and we was incrementing that whole array by word size okay and we were storing that n there but now we'll create some array this is that array association array i am not sure about the array name in the operating system but it's something like this so what you will do you will simply do whatever you was supposed to do up to this place i mean base size is 4 and n is 10 so you will create n into size of base 40 bytes you won't include that word size now okay and you will construct that much 
and this base pointer is pointing to the first location of that array okay now you created one for loop and you iterated on that for loop and you just call this placement new and you just give this address one by one okay like four byte then another four byte and you constructed your object on those memories so finally you are done with your array now the only thing remains is you need to store this end somewhere so that whenever you are going to delete this you will get that end so what you are doing you are inserting that pointer with n so whenever you are going to delete this it will search in this array where is that particular pointer stored and what is the associative number so this becomes very much simple but there are other problem with this technique that i won't cover here you just need to remember there are two techniques one is over allocation second is associative array so finally we have placed our pointer with that n no now whenever we want to delete that we will just simply grab that value like this is the array you will call the lookup function on that array and you will pass the pointer what you want to get and that pointer will be matched here and that n will be returned okay so that n is getting returned here okay by this lookup function now it becomes the same you will iterate over the pointer one by one from reverse and you will just call the destructor again it is fred so call the destructor of base okay and finally once you have destructed all the objects which you constructed with this placement new on that array you will delete that array so you are calling that delete on that base pointer which is nothing but the array so that's it guys i hope i explained well and if you have any doubt or something or you want to discuss this you can just comment out i'll be replying to that comment don't worry okay and you can just explain this to your friend he, it, he will be very much happy to know this okay so we are pretty much done here thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this bye bye